Well, to that point, in handing down Manafort's sentence today, the judge made clear that the charges in this case were unrelated to allegations of collusion, as you said, Ken. Rebuffing Manafort's defense team, however, she said, quote, the no collusion refrain that runs through the entire defense memo is entirely unrelated to the matters at hand. The no collusion mantra is simply a non sequitur. In other words, it has nothing to do with this case. However, Manafort's lawyer proceeded to hold a press conference where he falsely claimed that the judge had ruled that there's no evidence of collusion. Judge Jackson uh, conceded that there was absolutely no evidence of any Russian collusion in this case. So that Down makes court two courts. Two courts have ruled no evidence Liar. of any collusion with Liar. any Russian. Well, uh, that lawyer's remarks echoed a similar misleading claim made by the president last Friday when he repeated again today that. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. It was a hoax. It was all a big hoax. And now you're seeing it. Uh, today, again, no collusion. The other day, no collusion. There was no collusion. Well, to be clear, no evidence of collusion was ever introduced in either of Manafort's case because he was sentenced on entirely different charge. Elliot, this, uh, this thing of Trump, he uses every example to distort the truth and say it had nothing to do with it. We are going to see, I think, a collusion case, but let's talk about right. what he's denying appropriately. You know the expression to the history is written by the victors? Well, it seems like here history is written by the losers. They lost today. He is going to jail for a long time and trying to spin to the public this lie about what the judges are saying. The judges were clear, and frankly, even Judge Ellis in Virginia was clear about the fact that, that um, collusion was not present in this matter, but that doesn't mean there's no collusion. It hasn't been proven yet, but everything that's that's been demonstrated has been within the mandate of the special counsel and we will see if a collusion case can be supported and it very well might but this canard and red herring that the president's putting out there that, that there's no collusion here is just not well, what about the collusion true. in these answers they seem like the menendez brothers here these the way they talk they, this lawyer yeah. we just heard from talks just like trump they, they, as does. if they got the same talking points it seems like they very well might have gotten the same talking points i don't want to offend the menendez <laughs> brothers of course go ahead. hey now um, <laughs> but no it seems like they very well might be getting the same talking points or speaking with each other, but you know the, the president is—they are committed to spinning untruths because they don't have the facts and law on their side, and that's what parties do when they're losing. And um, it, it's a PR battle, not a legal one. Well, let's go deeper than PR, Ken. Uh, you're not a psychiatrist, but I wonder how Trump goes to bed at night. I mean, I got—you know—just when he thinks he's got his guy off, the chairman of his campaign this afternoon, this morning actually. Next comes the Manhattan DA's office with 16 counts against the same guy, Paul Manafort. Does Trump, here's my question, New York Times tomorrow, headline, front page, somewhere near the top, I think above the fold, I guess. <laughs> Trump doesn't seem to know he can't pardon Manafort on this latest mess of trouble. Yeah, I mean, that, that, there's clearly an effort here to make sure that Manafort doesn't get off the hook by prosecutors who are uh, sort of aligned opposite, who are averse to Trump and averse to Paul Manafort. Th that said, that doesn't mean that there weren't crimes committed separate yeah. from the crimes uh, that, that Manafort was charged with federally. That will be the challenge, however, for the New York prosecutors to show that he that they are not uh, uh, subjecting Manafort to double jeopardy. And we do expect for Manafort's lawyers to argue that some of the actions that are implicated in the New York indictment are, in fact, the same that he w with which he was charged uh, at the federal level. So, uh, you know, I think it, it, nothing else that extends this legal battle and probably will uh, it, cause Manafort to rack up, you know, uh, several uh, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars more in legal fees. So lawyers for the president, or I mean for Manafort, will say this is double jeopardy. He shouldn't be charged in New York under state law for crimes that he's already been sentenced for in federal court, right? That's but, right. Well, I, it'll be interesting. Is to it watch. the same charge? Yeah. You know, that's, that'll be the question. Typically, if you've got two different sovereigns, the federal government and a state, there's no double jeopardy problem. But New York has this statute that creates a double jeopardy problem if you file the same charges. It looks like the Manhattan DA, Cyrus Vance, has very carefully selected charges that don't overlap with federal law. Look for uh, Manafort's lawyers to file a challenge They're on different double cases, jeopardy too, grounds. aren't they? Aren't they different matters? Well, they are different matters, but what will matter more is if it's the same facts and the same charges. And so, for instance, there's no federal crime, an explicit crime of residential mortgage fraud, one of the charges that the New York DA is. That the well, let's Manhattan talk about Manafort faces. Now, he's facing seven and a half years. Maybe he'll get time served. Maybe that'll go down to six-ish. Mm -hmm. uh, but the issue is, is a lot easier to talk about from the outside, from the inside. Yeah. Uh, so he gets six-plus years. And then he sits on trial. 
He probably hasn't been put incarcerated at this point. He goes to trial facing the possibility, according to the papers today, of 25 more years. And that's, that's this guy's already 60. He's, all, he's turning 70. Right. And he's facing 25 plus six. He's going to have to be Moses to get through this that's, thing. 25, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, no, you I, I think that yet. that's oh. right, and most defendants don't like to spend time in state prison. They'd rather serve their time in federal prison. Conditions are a little bit better. So this seems like a bad move for me. You mean they're Ford. protected from other prisoners better? The conditions just are generally better. And all it's just to add on top of that, it's not just New York. So it's 25 years in New York, but he could potentially face banking or tax charges in Virginia, Illinois, and California. Now, I don't know if it's going to be 25 years in each of those. It depends on what they choose to charge him with. But we focused a lot on New York today because that's the charge immediately in front of us. But there's a lot of legal jeopardy faces around the country right now. I'm going to go to Betsy in this one. This is a wild speculation. But the president of the United States said today he hasn't given any thought to pardon. We don't know that. We don't believe that. He has given thought to it. Is he more or less likely to try to protect him from what he's already been sentenced on? Get him free from the seven and a half. And then, you know, best of luck at the state court level. I think what's most likely is that the president will wait to make any move on this particular issue until after the 2020 elections. Really? I talked about this recently with a person who's close to the president who said he sees an extremely low likelihood that Trump would pardon Manafort before his reelect because it would be so politically explosive. And Trump recognizes, even though he might say he's never thought about it, he recognizes that the political implications would be enormous. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.